we are today talking about health we are not talking about illness we are not talking about disease we are not talking about hospitals we are talking purely about health this is what the quality health care because unless we know what health means and what health is will be misdirected as we have been misdirected for over seven decades when i read the parliamentary debates when the bill for all india institute of medical sciences were being piloted and discussed that day if anybody get a chance to read it that day we lost the health of the nation because the entire system of indigenous medicine was put to the back burner and the thrust was given to the modern medicine as you all know in our banas system that brahmacharya used to be up to 25 years grahastha used to be up to 50 years banaprastha used to be up to 75 years and jatibrata 75 plus so we are actually having a life expectancy of 100 years and we drop down to virtually 25.4 years in 1600 ad what happened that time there was not much of technology happening but we are living 100 years what we actually lost we lost our language we lost our culture we lost our indigenous system of medicines if anybody gets a chance to read east india company annual report being submitted to the british parliament they have written that the indigenous system of medicine is so advanced that we fail to understand surgical skill is so high that we are not able to match up and education system is so widely connected toll system we used to have toll system in the villages they decided that needs to be destroyed fast they called us native doctors brown doctors we are reduced to compounders who used to go with the british white doctors as compounders carrying their bags we are operated completely culturally because we are talking about health health is a multifaceted attribute of our life it's a multi dimensional dynamic state of being it is not the presence or absence of the disease it's a state and it changes and then we have to find a harmony harmony between our body mind and society and one component also intelligently they lost it spirit spiritualism if you see who definition of health they say it is a state of complete physical mental social well being spirituality is not there what is going to define well being what is the benchmark because unless we have a concrete tangible definition then we cannot initiate a debate and who is deciding what is well being today it is the industry what i should eat what treatment i should receive how long i will remain alive what i am supposed to do i am not deciding anything in fact so does it mean that we have actually surrendered our health to some external agency which is calling the shots yes candidly and honestly i will admit after 30 years of my career in highly super specialized branch we did fast heart transplant we did stem cell we did robotics we did elvad we did everything what we did not do in all india should of medical science is health we practiced disease we treated disease we took care of sick people and got lost in the end of life care that is not life, health there is a term 
use this connect the fast connection for health between any individual life is between that life and the mother in the uterus that is umbilical cord then the cultural connection starts the family what activity what prayer what values what culture what study everything was in the family today you know that our kitchens are gone there is no kitchen it is mcdonald which has decided what to eat mcdonald has damaged the world much more than even nuclear bombs so is it right to search for the health in hospitals absolutely not the cost the uneven quality and limited access is making us more angry frustrating and often de depressive also recently i see my did a study it has been published about tribal people 66% of the mortality out of 100 people dying is because of the non communicable diseases like cancer cardiovascular disease chronic respiratory disease and diabetes all are lifestyle related all are lifestyle related there is another study five bucks bacteria they are killing almost 13 people out of the 100 people in the world so 66 plus 13 69 79 79% of the deaths which are happening around us is simply related to lifestyle the what was the ancient culture where our lifestyle was being decided it was decided in family it was not decided by industry everybody talks about state of the art cutting edge technology but for what they are for diseases they are not for health i will give you three examples you can understand the impact of things that we have lost which can determine our health we know that japanese people they have very less coronary artery disease but when they migrated to west coast of usa some of them they adopted a american lifestyle high fat high calorie diet smoking and drinking including the value system so they ended up having the same high incidence of coronary artery disease as the americans there was another group those who adopted the american lifestyle but maintain their family culture their coronary artery disease is much much lower and those who maintain the lifestyle as well as the cultural value system and family system they had the same lowest coronary artery disease incidence as the japanese people so even the culture even when you are exposed to high fat high calorie diet it can influence because remember everything is being controlled from the here i will give you another example this case happened in lahore jail in 1937 during british time of course there was a convict 28 year old young fit person to be convicted to be killed they wanted to know what is the best way to kill the person there was no ethical committee clearances and all those things so they declared one bengali doctor said that i will kill the person without giving him pain and you can understand correlate that to the today's world <clears throat> death is an extreme and violent form of snatching away health everybody knows and that is we all are struggling to prevent or to postpone 
But we did not know that it is being controlled from head. What happened? The doctor went and explained to the convict that I will blindfold you, I will put, on you, uh, put you on a mat and I will scratch your arms and legs. I will make small cuts and blood will dribble down. Slowly, slowly you will cool down and you will die. He blindfolded, put the man on the mat, hands and legs tied. He put four stands at the ends, two leg and two arms small holes on the bottom of the pot and he put tray filled with water below. He scratched the hand with his finger, no cut, nothing. But the imagination started in the mind that he is going to die. He unplugged the pots and water started dribbling down. Initially it was falling faster, it was getting flashed, so the, he was thinking that Blood is dribbling down. Gradually, gradually, pot was getting emptied and dribbling stopped. And doctor said, you check that person is dead. And he was dead. He was dead. It is not the disease which is actually killing us. It is our reaction to the disease which is killing us. I have many patients, they have coronary artery disease, does not happen over time. It happens over a long period of time. The moment the doctor says that you are having coronary artery disease, his health is gone. He's finished. So it is the information how you process. And that is pegged to your culture. I'll give you a third example. I'll, with this, I'll finish. In the last OPD, I had a 10-year-old boy, 4 feet, 7 inches tall, he had an arterial switch operation when he was 2.8 kilogram and one and a half months old. He, is, he was now, can you imagine what will be the weight? 71 kilogram. I checked that he, the child was having blood pressure, high blood pressure. I said, what do you eat? He said, before going to school, I eat from Rajasthan. He said, I used to chapati. Then in the lunch, 11 o'clock, again chapati. When you come back school, again chapati, sabji. Night, again chapati and sabji. I said, we would, you would eat only these things. He said, no, no, on Saturday, Sunday, I order. Pizza, burger, sauce, breads, jams. No, it is very easy to give us call on Swiggy and deliver. No? Mother is eating another room, father is eating another room, children are eating another room. What, they don't know what they are eating, how much they are eating, watching television, watching mobile. Then you become obese, then you become diabetic, then you become hypertension, then you become coronary artery disease. Then, then you go to a doctor. What the doctor will do? Doctor will do a business. No doubt about it. Because now market value has replaced moral value. Everybody wants money. But is it going to last? No. That is why our leaders, while framing the constitution, they never gave health a fundamental right status because individual has to be accountable and responsible. You cannot leave it to the state. State will facilitate you. Take, state will take care of the vulnerable children. Mothers, but not your whims and fancies. In Japan, everybody has to pay. Even the poorest man has to pay 10% of the bill. It is never free. By making healthcare actually free, we have given a license. Today morning I saw in the airport there is a lounge where people can smoke. You allow them to smoke. Then you have cancer. Why? But as uh, Sanjayji said that we have to take development to the villages. No, no, no. We have to bring development from the villages to the city. Because city is a dumping yard. It's a garbage. Everything comes from the village. 
So I am against downgrading the villages as if they are uh, destitute, suffering, they need everything. You encourage them, you facilitate them. But how to do it? It can be simply done without much cost. Go for a family approach for health care. Integrate the mother with the primary school and integrate the mother to primary health care center. Let her be a stakeholder which she had been for the centuries of years. She has tremendous wisdom. I will give one example. One Apple CEO was asked, who are the best CEOs in the world? You will be surprised to know. He said Indian women. They are less educated with a gungad, hostile customers, husband, son, mother-in-law, father-in-law, people, neighbors, they cannot take up the gungad, they cannot talk, they cannot see their eyes. They will not ask questions. Whenever anybody comes to the door, they know what the fellow wants, why he has come. Where from it comes? Because they have been running the largest empire for the longest time, that is the family. It is intuitive knowledge. They have the tremendous intuitive knowledge. You integrate the mothers of the families to the primary education and to the primary health care center. They will deliver. They will deliver. And everyone has to be accountable. So I'm not going into developing modules for delivery, organizational innovation, or technology, its appropriation and assimilations, because these are dedicated for mostly for taking care of end of life cares, hospitals. So hospital is a sick place. When you talk about health, let's not talk about hospitals. Talk about families. Thank you.